I'm going to tie a soft hackle hair's ear uh, wet fly. So I've got a size 12 hook in the vise, and this is a, a nymph slash wet fly hook. And the thread that I'm going to use is an 8 out dark brown. So I'll just get that started about midway of the hook shank, break off the excess, and continue wrapping to about uh, the point of the hook there. The tail section for this, I'm going to use a furnace hackle. And so I'm just going to clean off the bottom a little bit here. Um, and then I'm going to pull down, pull the fibers back so they stick out. And I want them to be about the length uh, of, the, of the hook shank or so. So I'll just take off a section to the desired amount of fibers. And so I'll measure that out against and I'll just tie those straight in. Alright, <clears throat> now I'm going to add my my rib material and for this I like to use the uh, same thing I use for my hair's ear which is a medium uh, hollow gold tinsel. So I'll take a section of that off and then tie that into the side and then bring it back up to about the midway point. Um, I'm going to use uh, natural hairs dubbing uh, so I'm going to put some wax on my thread here and then I'll just take a, a clump out to dub and I'll just start to twist that on to the, to the thread Not putting a whole lot of body into this fly, so don't need to go too crazy with it. And then I can start to make my wraps back towards the hackle or back towards the tail. When I get to the bottom. I always like to give it a twist just to give it a little, a little tighter, tighter taper. And then I'll just advance that all the way up to about the, well, I'd say about the two-thirds marker, so I'm going to leave some room uh, towards the eye of the hook because I'm going to tie in some additional material. So now I can just take my tinsel and just make nice, even, firm, firm wraps through the body. And again, you'll notice that it has a slim, slim profile. Not a lot of bulk to this. I can pull out some of those excess fibers. <clears throat> then I can come back through and just clip off the clip off the extra. All right. <clears throat> now for the hackle, as I like to use with all my wet flies, I like to use a, a soft hackle hen. So I'm just going to take a section of this out, and the normal process of cleaning off the bottom. Just cleaning that up and then pulling everything back just to expose that uh, tip section and I'm going to tie it in by the tip. So just a couple of turns there, come back through and clean off that excess. And then I'll just wet my fingers and I'll start to pull this back on top of itself so you get the most out of each turn and then I'll just start to make my wraps and again as I do pulling everything back towards the tail and then I can just tie that off when that dries it'll it'll get some of its volume back and then I can just tie in that stem and break it off all right to this point it looks like a, a traditional or standard wet fly but I'm going to add an overwing to this and that I like to and, and some of the people that, that tie you know wet flies and, and you know really get into it will probably cringe but I don't I don't put a whole lot of uh, 
pressure to get these kind of matched pair and those sorts of things what I'll do is I'll take um, my pheasant tail and here's two different ones you've got this side which is much more uh, segmented in its fibers and, and this stuff which is kind of clingy together uh, when you get down to these smaller pheasant fibers uh, and that's what I'll take so I'll just take a matching section off of uh, each each feather and I'll tie them into either side so I'll just clip off one of each and I'll get them from approximately the same same distance up from the from the bottom and approximately the same width again it'll take on a life of its own once it gets into the water so I don't uh, I don't put a whole lot of pressure on myself to get them exactly right so I've got two wings here I'm going to set them on top of one another and I'll do so so that the tips line up and then I want it to end just short of the tail so I'll come back through and I'll put one one piece on each side and now every wrap that I take is going away from going away from the eye then I can pull this up and take a couple wraps underneath and what that does then is it makes sure that when I cut it off it's not going to leave those extra fibers sticking over the the tip of the eye and make it more difficult to tie in. So I'll just take that clip and now I can start to build out my my thread head. And then a couple of whip finishes here. trim off the excess and then I will come back through and I'll just put a drop of, of head cement which I typically do with my with my wet flies <clears throat> like I said those that really get into tying traditional wet fly patterns probably cringe at my lack of attention to to get the the overwing perfect but um, I think the I think the result is is a good one uh, so that is my wet fly uh, and it is a soft hackle hair's ear